Hi, so in this video, we're going to look at differentiating tan of x. So we want to find the derivative of tan of x with respect to x. So in, in my previous uh, videos, we've differentiated sine, we've differentiated cos, um, we've looked at the product rule, the quotient rule, the chain rule. So to differentiate tan, we're actually going to need this, uh, this key trigonometric identity which states that tan of x is the same as sine of x divided by cos of x. So yes, yeah, so in this video, when we, when we try to differentiate tan, we're gonna have to use the fact that, uh, the fact that we know how to differentiate sine from the previous videos. Uh, we know how to differentiate cos from the previous videos. And because we've got a fraction, so a function divided by another function, we're going to have to use the quotient rule, which is what we did in the previous video. And that's going to help us work out this derivative. So if we go to the next slide then, so we want to work out essentially the derivative of sine divided by cos. So this is essentially a quotient rule problem. So we've got our, uh, our function on the top, which we'll call f. So we'll call sine of x f. We've got our function on the bottom we'll call cos of x g. And if you remember from the, the previous uh, lesson that I did, so, uh, sorry, not limit. <laughs> uh, so when we differentiate f over g, this is exactly the same as differentiating f with respect to x multiplied by g, subtract the derivative of g with respect to x, multiplied by f, all over g squared. So that's what we proved in the previous video. We're just going to apply this um, to this sine over cos, and then we're going to get the result for the derivative. Um, so in our case, if we differentiate f, so f is sine, as we can see up there. When we differentiate sine, we know from the previous videos that we've, that we've done that that's going to be cos. So we've got cos of x, which is this derivative of f with respect to x, and we're going to multiply it by g. But we know that g is cos from there. So we're just going to multiply cos with cos again, like that. OK, so now we've got a minus sign there, so we're going to subtract. And now we want to work out the derivative of g with respect to x. So again, from one of my previous videos, when we uh, differentiate g, which is this cos there, differentiating cos gives us negative sign. So we're going to put a negative sign of x in there. And we're going to multiply this by the f function, but we've called f sine. So we're going to multiply by, by sine again. And this is all going to be divided by g squared. Well, g squared is cos squared. So that's going to be cos squared on the bottom. OK, great. So let's just try and like simplify what we've got down here then. So we've got cos times cos. Well, that's just cos squared. So we've got cos squared of x. And then we're going to subtract negative sine of x times sine of x. Well, that's just positive. And then sine times sine, well, that's sine squared. And this is all divided by cos squared uh, of x. OK, so if you actually take note of this numerator, what you'll notice is that we can actually use a trig identity. So we know that cos squared plus sine squared is always going to be equal to one because that's like a key standard trig identity. So this numerator, regardless of what x is, will always be one. So what we've got then is one divided by cos squared. And when we've got, uh, so, what we'll know, uh, or what we should know, is that one divided by cos, uh, that's another way of saying sec, uh, sec of x. So sec of x is just one divided by cos. So it's just a, a definition of what sec is. So what we've actually got then is sec squared of x. And so what we've concluded then is that when we differentiate tan of x, we get sec squared of x. So the derivative of tan 
is one over cos squared, which in other words is the same as sec squared of x. And that result uh, is the result that we wanted.